Hi, I'm Mike, and I have Joe here at Room and Board, and today we're going to talk about the Baron Sleeper Sofa. Uh, we're going to talk about um, how to disassemble the Baron Sleeper Sofa if you get into a situation in delivery where it needs to be taken apart uh, to get into a home or a tighter space. Uh, for our national delivery associates, this sleeper sofa is going to come fully assembled um, in its um, packaging and we leave it that way because it travels a lot better to its destination. So when on a national delivery, if you get the sleeper sofa and you notice it has to go into a smaller space, we're going to go, we're going to start breaking this uh, down in different steps and you can bring it down to different levels of uh, when you can get it into the home. We can br we're going to break it down from the back and all the way down to the arms being taken off. The first step to disassembling this Baron sleeper sofa is first taking the cushions off. Uh, the second thing is, uh, if, if on the national side you're getting the sleeper and you're going to disassemble it, uh, right down in this area right here, it, they'll be pretty big, but there's some zip ties that hold the mechanism so if you were to pick it up, it doesn't open up. So the first thing you would want to do is uh, cut those. There's one on each side. After that, what Joe is going to do here is actually open up our sleeper mechanism so we can get at the bolts to take this back panel off. There's going to be four bolts you're going to need to take off right away. They're up on top. I have one on my hand here, one here, one on the other side. And almost all the way down on the bottom, there's a, another bolt. Uh, Joe is using a half inch socket driver for this. And he's taking those off. He's taking them off. He's already uh, taken the ones off on the bottom. They're pretty easy. You can see them down there. And after that, this back panel just comes off. This will give a little better view of uh, where those bolts are coming out of. There's one right here where my finger is and one right here. These are the half inch and this is where they're coming out of. There's one here and one here. This is where they're coming out of. Real easy, half inch. For the next step on the Baron sleeper sofa, uh, Joe is actually going to recoil the sleeper so we can get at it's uh, like a smaller wooden back panel and what he's going to be doing is taking these five bolts off. Uh, they're also a half inch and we're taking this lower uh, metal bar off with that and that'll give us a lot more room uh, to bring this sleeper sofa in the house. At this point, once this, this is off and we'll do that, this sofa goes into a, a lot, makes it a lot easier to, to deliver this sofa. A lot of times this is as far as we need to go, but we're also gonna go a little bit farther and show if we need to get it into a really tight spa space, what we need to do. So right now, I'll have Joe uh, take those off. We'll show how this comes out. This just comes, pick it straight up. Once the sleeper sofa is has been disassembled to, um, as far as Joe and I have it here, with the back off, almost 80% of the time, this is ready to be delivered. But if it's a much smaller space, we can disassemble it more. If this is the, the way we're gonna be delivering it, uh, a couple things uh, before we're ready to actually walk it in the house, we need to make sure that this mechanism doesn't open up while we're carrying it. Uh, the first thing we need to do is tie this off because we clip those uh, zip ties. Uh, you can either use truck straps, the main thing, or, or rope. You gotta go underneath, grab it from around, tie it, and what we normally do is use two of them. So you have one on kind of each side. You wanna protect the front of the sofa with either some cardboard or foam so it doesn't leave an indentation. After you have it all tied off, what we do here is we stand it up and we'll maybe throw a little shrink wrap around it. It is, uh, it can be very unsafe if this were to pop open, if you were on some stairs, that uh, could hurt your uh, partner, it could damage the person's home or damage the, the piece. It's time to remove the mechanism part on your Baron sleeper sofa. And what we need to do now is take these four bolts out. There's two here on this side, on this metal plate, and also two over here that you can see on this metal plate. Uh, what, I, what I'm going to do first is pull the mechanism to the sleeper position. And then what, 
what you and your partner will do is what, what I'm going to do now is kind of go underneath and take those four bolts out. What we're going to do now is I'm going to have myself and Chris, while I'm taking the two bolts off on this side, he's going to want to hold that other side. It's uh, kind of a safety, um, I guess, issue. Uh, make sure that those, those metal plates that I pointed at, they're spring loaded and they're going to want to kind of to flap up. So when I take these bolts off, you have your partner kind of holding down and then you can kind of slowly back them off. So now that the bolts are out, we can kind of slowly move this piece away and grab those, the metal, and it'll slowly put back that way safely. You can put the mechanism down. And now it's removed. All right. So now we're ready to put it back together. What we need to do is we have the mechanism sitting here, and what Chris and I are gonna do is together we're gonna push this spring-loaded uh, metal plate down, and together, we're going to grab the sleeper. What we want to do is set it on top of there, and that'll use the weight. The weight of that will hold the, the plate down. What we're trying to do then is line up those holes so we can put the, the bolts back in. Got it. All right, the next step in disassembling the Baron sleeper is to take apart this front bracket support. Um, we're still using the half inch socket. Um, as you can see here, we got four bolts. We're going to start with the two on this side, and there'll be two more over there on the same side as well. And just like before, I'm going to start on one side, take out one of the bolts all the way, and I'll loosen up this one, and I'll switch and go back over the other side. At this point, you know, your partner that's helping you will just kind of hold that other side there just to make sure nothing's falling uh, on the ground. And also when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're protecting the customer's home. So if you're doing disassembly of a barren sleeper, you want to make sure if you're on hardwood that you got a pad down. You're putting all the pieces you've taken apart, either on the pad or on a carpeted surface, a rug, just so you're, uh, just so you're protecting the customer's floor and the product. So here I'm going to go over here and finish this up by taking out the last bolt. Okay, we're back to doing our final step on the disassembly of the barren sleeper. And this last step is probably not necessarily the most difficult, but we do change up some of our hardware we're using. So instead of using a half inch like we were using before, now we're using a 7 16 And we also need to use some sort of pliers, either a needle nose or just a simple uh, basic pliers. So what's going to happen here is we have four of these bolts just like this that are going to go in just like that with a little, uh, little nut on the bottom, which I don't have on me, but you can see it underneath here when we demonstrate on this one. So we're going to start by taking one side off and then with the other, just kind of what we were doing before with the, other, uh, with the other pieces. So what Mike's doing here is he's taking the top part with the wrench, with the pliers, and I'm going to come underneath with the 7 16 and just kind of pop these off slowly. And we did that there. And you might need like a hammer or if you're able to do it with your finger to pop those brackets out. So that side is loose right there. So I'm going to come back over to the other side. All right, once you've loosened up your last bolt, taken off the nut on that, pop out the bolt. We're making sure that we're holding on to both sides, both arms. We gently set that down. As you can see, everything is open, free. Arms are on its own. So that is the step-by-step -step process in disassembling the Baron sleeper.